Hey guys, Carl Cooper with OnTheBlack.com here to give you a Mets-Giants series recap. So the Mets split the four-game series with the Giants 2-2 and I really have three takeaways and it's basically going to sound like an injury update because that's basically what the Mets season has become, one big injury list. First, obviously, David Wright getting hit in the head with the Matt Cain fastball. Um, you know, Wright has been placed on the disabled list. I think that's the best thing for the Mets to do. I think it's more precautionary than anything else. But obviously, the Mets got criticized a lot last year with the way they handled the Ryan Church situation. So putting Wright on the disabled list and letting him take some time and rest, I think, is the right thing to do for the Mets. You know, there was a lot of discussion this weekend as to whether or not Johan Santa did Santana did the right thing by by hitting a couple of uh, well actually throwing at a couple of uh, Giants batters and I'm all for that you know he protected his teammate even though Matt Cain did not hit right in the head intentionally I think as a you know a re opposing pitcher you got to come back and and send the message back to the other team that that is not going to be tolerated whether you threw at him intentionally or not so uh, glad Johan Santana did what he did and I wish more Mets pitchers would stick up for uh, their position players you know secondly Alex Cora uh, has been reported tonight that he's out for the season he's going to need uh, thumb surgery on both of his thumbs apparently he has ligament issues in both of his thumbs and apparently he's been playing for a few months now with one injured thumb that may have had some ligament issues so uh, you know tip of the hat to Alex Cora who played through injury for the Mets this year when the Mets really needed him uh, you know, with all their injuries that they had. And I think Alex Cora is a pretty good guy to have in the locker room. Didn't have that great of a season on the field this year, but a good guy to have in the locker room. And I wouldn't be upset if the Mets brought him back next year. And last, uh, as in terms of my takeaways, is Billy Wagner. He's back at City Field tonight. He was working out with the team. Apparently, there's talk to him uh, rejoining the team and being an active player on the team towards the end of this week. And my only question to that is, why isn't Billy Wagner active now? You know, if he can pitch tonight, he should have pitched tonight. If he can pitch tomorrow, he should pitch tomorrow. And the reason for that is the Mets aren't going to bring him back next year. So put him out there. Let other teams get a good look at him. And maybe you can trade him uh, before the deadline here so some team can pick him up and have them on their playoff roster and maybe get something decent in return. So not understanding why the Mets are waiting to activate Billy Wagner. If you guys have some thoughts on that, I would love to hear them. Now it's time for my who's hot, who's not, who's hot right now. Luis Castillo had a good series. He had four hits, five runs scored, and had a massive home run uh, the other day as well. Didn't think I'd see Luis Castillo hit one out of City Field, but he crushed the ball on Saturday. And, uh, you know, with right out now, Castillo really the only steady force uh, there for the Mets. And who would have thought that at the beginning of the year, considering... All the problems Castillo had last year, you know, struggling at the plate and then also couldn't stay healthy. But Castillo has been one of the more healthy Mets all season long. So Castillo, hot for the Mets right now. Who's not hot for the Mets right now? How about LeVon Hernandez? Six earned runs tonight against the Giants, one of the worst offenses in the National League. And that's about four or five bad starts in a row now for LeVon Hernandez. I know before tonight's start, Manuel was uh, contemplating whether or not to leave LeVon Hernandez in the rotation or not. I think, you know, the question has been answered tonight. LeVon Hernandez needs to be taken out of the rotation. His next scheduled start is supposed to be Saturday against the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Jerry Manuel, you cannot let LeVon Hernandez start against the Phillies. Uh, put someone else in there, whether it's Redding, whether it's Figueroa, whether you bring someone up for the minors. You can't let LeVon Hernandez pitch in the starting rotation anymore for the rest of the season. Up next is a three-game series against Atlanta. They come to City Field starting tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, looking forward to seeing Bobby Parnell pitch on Wednesday. Uh, he had a really good start, his last start, and he's been building up here the last couple of starts. So interested to see Parnell pitch again. And that's it for my series recap, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.